Hi, everyone. Uh, we are Fat Loot. I am the lead designer, um, Pat Bales. And before we jump right into a full-on networked game, we thought we'd take some time to show you our mechanics so that when that happens, you actually can tell what's going on. Uh, first up, we have... Um, Hello everyone, my name is Ken, and I'd like to tell you about Fat Loot. Um, Fat Loot is a player versus player stealth action game. You play as a thief that going to, uh, is going in into the palace, as you can see here, um, and you're trying to find a treasure, grab it, and get it back to your base in order to support for the point. Uh, the main objective of the game is to score as, much, um, as many points as possible before the time run out. Yes. And right now I'm going to show you how to how to, to like control uh the character. Um, so as you can see this is a very conventional uh controlling system. You use your mouse you have to have uh, moving the camera angle. And then you also use uh the normal W A S D in order to walk around like this. to walk and look around. The next thing that we're going to show you is how to sprint. Okay. By holding your right right mouse button you and and keep moving, you're going to <laughs> <laughs> perform a sprinting that you and crash into the wall, yes. And that will uh, drain out your, your stamina, as you can see in the, in the left button left button of the screen. When the, sta when the stamina bar runs out, you will not be able to, to keep sprinting anymore. So that is something that you should uh, look out for. And since I, I told you that the objective of the game is to go grab the treasure, and this is the treasure that we are talking about, when you approach it, it's going to have a message telling you that to press E in order to get it. And here we go. Look how happy she is. <laughs> it's actually bouncing. Okay. And the only thing that left for you to do is to go as as quickly as possible to to the uh, to your best in order to to score the point. And this is how the best looks like. And here we go. And your score will update on the on the on the uh, hot screen. It's it's pretty straightforward and pretty easy, I think. In the game, we also have guards who are protecting your treasure. Our guard is a little cute guy with a feather on his head, but I'm trying to find it. Okay, here we go. Can you see there is a guard? Normally, he is patrolling along his certain rocks, but when he sees you, he will run and chase you until you disappear from his vision. But now I'm being caught. When the, when the guard catches you, you will be sent to back, sent back to the base. But when you have a treasure, of course, you will drop off the treasure and get back to the base. So I ha I'm Ravi, I'm the, one of the AI engineers on the team. So now I'll just let me give you the opportunity to tell you some details of how the guards are implemented. So one of our main challenges was getting the guards to work well and make them look human. So, so the guards have two main things they need to do. One is move around and one is catch players like, when they see them. So moving was a challenge because we have tight spaces filled with 
lot of furniture faces, lot of rooms, corridors. So sometimes when even players were taken, they used to get stuck and get lost. So to get that working for the guards was a challenge for us. So we used UDK's feature called navigation meshes, which basically just scans the whole map and it just identifies, okay, these are the areas that you cannot move in and these are the obstacles and these are the areas you can go to. So that was one thing that helped us, but even otherwise the map is kind of pretty complicated, like you have multiple players, multiple guards, so that's still not enough. So we had to implement our own checks and safety checks so that the player, the guard does not get stuck and he always has a way out. And so one more thing was making the guards move around realistically. It's not like just following a path from A to B and C to D. So to make them move fluidly, also we had to do a lot of work. So that was for the moving. And then the other is the vision. So how would the guards see? They cannot see behind them. And so we made it so that they can only see in front with a range and a distance, basically like a human field of view. And also the player has to be in the light to be get caught. So you can hide in the darkness and escape or sneak around. That's about the guard system. That that's a lot of parameters can affecting guards' behavior. We improve a lot during our playtesting. From our players' feedback, we change the guard behavior from being robotic and too tough for now to now is acceptable, more human-like, and more natural. So now you may be wondering how we can escape the guard. So here in the room, you can see there is central. We have a base for you to hide in. Press E when close to it. Now you are hiding to the waist. You can see the camera has changed. It's fully pulled back. Now you can have a better vision of your surroundings. And you can have better choice where you can escape the base and to avoid the guard. So here I choose this direction after the guard passed away. So after... <coughs> I have infinity HP. <laughs> okay, so yes, you can see here is a light. The light will enlarge, start vision. Okay, I'll sprinting. Okay, I skip guard using the vase and also the sprinting. Here also we'll introduce you power-ups, then for you to enjoy the variety of our game. You see a shelf here, a very dark shelf here. You press E to check the shelf. Okay, you have nothing. Usually we will get a power up which are usability and close. And we, if we have close, if you and, and you press shift, you will disguise into the as same as the guard. Then you will then you will fool the guard and the, be, pretend to be their friends. If we have usability power up we will become invisible to everyone. But all the power-ups have time limit. Or you, you are, if you are trying to use belly bomb or pick up the treasure, the power-ups effect will be gone forever. So, also we introduce you... Oh. <laughs> yeah, also we introduce you the teleporter. You see at the end of this road, there is a practical effect, which is purple one. There will be an upper arrow at the top. This is in... This is a teleporter. <laughs> Sorry, five times. <laughs> so, where is my entrance? Here. So, if you want to use the teleport and you want to do more strategically moving, Shift, then you become invisible. Invisible. Who am I here? Why am I? Oh, I'm using a teleporter. Like the purple way is teleporter, teleport back you to the base. <laughs> So now it's, uh, I'm going to talk about um, some of the uh, interplayer mechanics that we've added to our game. 
So here we have another player. And just like the guards can catch players, we wanted it to be important for other players to be able to catch players because this is a stealth game. So if you see another player heading to their hiding spot, which is the vase, you can walk right up to it. And if you try to enter it, it will pop them out, and they'll be stunned. Um, and you can then get in there for a belly bump. Uh, or you can leave them behind to uh, get captured by the guards. Um, so, and then, so now probably the biggest and most important uh, player versus player mechanic that we have is the belly bump. Um, if you uh, just click the left mouse button, you can, your player will launch herself forward with her belly out. Yeah. Hey, Pat. <laughs> um, and if the other player is carrying the treasure, it will <laughs> it will uh, knock them knock it out of their hands. It will knock them back. Um, and if they hit a wall or a pillar or another player, uh, they will also be stunned. Um, so we can use the belly bump to kind of provide additional functionality, like <laughs> belly bumping somebody into the path of a guard. And then he gets caught and gets sent over there. Oh, go! go. Uh, Belly bump the guard. Uh, uh, they're not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll get sent over here to the jail. No. Go, Marquis Lee. Pat, that's what you get for sending me to jail. <laughs> well, uh, do you want to do something about it, Lawrence? Play multiplayer match. All right, if you think you got what it takes. Oh. <laughs> All right. Really? No. So now we've got a. We've got a uh, another. We've got a little live game. having some trouble connecting, so we are just going to, I think we should just start the game, because a round, so a round of fat loot is five minutes, and that time you've got to steal as much treasure as you can, so I think we should just get out there and start stealing. Um, okay, so as you uh, watch me go around the level, you'll see me looking for, the treasure can spawn in any of the chests that exist. Um, you'll see me looking for one with with a spotlight and a glowing particle effect around it, because that means that chest has the treasure in it. Oh, there's someone over there. That guard is totally going after them. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, doesn't know? Yeah. Got it. Uh, got it. Oh, no. Oh, who's this? <laughs> who's this? Oh. Lawrence? Uh, oh, yeah, if the guard if the guards uh, catch you, they will take the treasure away from you and put it back in a chest Uh, also down, and you'll notice in the lower right-hand corner, we have a little mini-map of the level that shows where the player is and where the treasure can spawn. Um, we wanted to give the player a map because people uh, were confused about how to return to their base. But we didn't want to give them too much information. Oh. <laughs> You'll notice my score has increased. <laughs> 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 
formerly known as Sneak to Slam. <laughs> um, for, uh, for next semester, what we want to do is have, um, we want to be able to add more characters to the game, we want to be able to add um, more levels, we want to expand the power-ups, and with those, uh, with those other characters, we hopefully we can have new attack mechanics, new movement mechanics, we really just want to kind of expand on the gameplay that we've developed this semester. Thank you very much. Thank you all very much.